Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn about the types of errors in VBA. So let's get started. Here I have the workbook that we used in one of the previous videos where we wrote the first VBA code and the code that we wrote entered these text strings in these cells italicized the first two cells and also gave a background color to it so let me press alt f11 and take you to the code here so in this vb editor the module name is enter details and so is the name of the subroutine now this vba code adds a worksheet then it enters these four text strings in these four cells a1 b1 a2 and b2 then it italicizes these first two cells a1 and b1 and it also gives an interior color of this rgb value now if you are coding or if you're writing a vba code then error is something that is almost inevitable uh, it's rare that you would write a perfect code so you would have to understand the kinds of error that exist in vba uh, and how to handle these errors now in this short video i would talk about the errors and introduce you to the types of errors and we would have a detailed video on handling errors later in this course now in this code let me let me change something let me uh, remove this parenthesis so in this line range b1 I would remove this closing bracket and as soon as I do that and I click anywhere else it gives me an error and this is the compile error now a compile error would occur when there is any problem with this code the code does not run but it would identify any error before the code is run in this case uh, we have not even executed the code or compiled the code just because we we clicked somewhere else it identified that there is something wrong with the syntax and this is the syntax error within compile error so it says expected list separator or a closing bracket so VBA has helped us here it highlighted this line in red and it is also mentioning that we need a closing bracket and as soon as I do that and I click anywhere else now everything is fine uh, VBA does try to help us by giving us, us these prompts but these are not always accurate say for example here if I remove this quote say double quote if I remove this ending quote and I click somewhere else I again get the same error which is expected list separator or a closing bracket and I know that's not the case I know that I removed a double quote here so it is not the closing bracket but the double quote but the problem here is that uh, VBA is considering this as the entire text string and it expects a, a round bracket here which is something which is incorrect so it does help you in high by highlighting this line or by telling you that this is what is expected but it may not always be accurate but nevertheless it is helping you because if you go through the line you would realize that you were missing this so these kinds of errors are called syntax error which means that there is something wrong with the syntax now let me uh, do something else I will go and I will change the spelling of range here so I would remove this E now if I click anywhere else it does not give me any error there are no red lines no pop-ups the reason for this is that it does not identify a problem in the syntax because a syntax is for this word so Excel VBA identifies range and range has a specific syntax since this is not that word it does not identify as a word which has a syntax and therefore it does not gives a syntax error now what happens when you run this code uh, let me go here and run this code and as soon as I do this it gives me a compile error which says sub or function not defined because what it is doing it is it is considering this to be a variable it could be anything and it is not defined and therefore it is causing a problem here so in case you have a syntax error it gets highlighted in red but if you have a compile error where the function or sub is not defined then it gives you a pop-up like this but in both the cases the code is not executed we have the same thing we had earlier this code has not been run uh, also notice that we are in the break mode this line is highlighted and if you go up and 
see here it says book one dot xlsm break so right now it's in the break mode if you want to run this code again after making the changes make sure that you come out of the break mode and then you run this again to come out of the break mode you can simply go and reset and it will come out of it now let me correct this and if I run this code now the code runs it gives me a new worksheet and uh, the elements uh, the italicized font and the color now another kind of error while could be a runtime error so a compile error is something that is checked for before the code is run but a runtime error is something that is checked when the code is running so let's say for example I come here and I declare a variable name is equal to my name so I have this variable and let me also declare this variable so I would say dim name as string so what I've done is I have declared a variable don't worry if you don't know what this is uh, we will talk about uh, variables and how to do it but the idea is that I have a variable named name and it has this text string Sumit Bansal in it now I would come here and I would remove this and put this variable here now nothing else changes if I run this code it runs perfectly I have the new sheet here I have the same text elements which I had earlier instead of putting hard coding the text string here I have just used uh, a variable now let's say I change this variable I remove this variable uh, the spelling of the variable n a m only and now if I run the code see what happens when I run the code everything gets executed but I do not get the name here and the reason for this is that the variable that I've declared is name n a m e but it also considers this to be a variable and this is an empty variable because we have not not defined it we have not initialized it we have not given a value to it so it considers this to be a variable but this is empty so range a2 dot value gets an empty string now one way to handle this kind of situations is to use this text option explicit and the meaning of this is that when you put this text string option explicit at the top it makes it mandatory for the code to have each and every every variable defined which means that if I don't declare a variable the code would give me an error so let's try this again let's uh, run this exact code when I press this button now it gives me a compile error it says variable not defined because it has identified that there is a variable here which has not been defined so if you are a newbie uh, in VBA coding or you use a lot of variables it is always a good practice to put this text option explicit so that you have this mandatory requirement of naming the variables defining the variables in this case if I change the variables name and run it run this again it would run nicely let me reset it so that I come out of the break mode now let's see something else in this case let's change the spelling of value so here I would remove E from here and now let's run the code so when I run the code it gives me a runtime error and it says object doesn't support this property or method again this is something that this is not a compile error but what it gives me here is that the object does not have this property and it would not identify this while I'm writing the code or while I'm compiling the code but it would identify this while I'm running the code so if I debug this it would highlight this exact line let's go back again let's see what happens when I go to debug and compile the compilation happens but when I run the code it gives me an error so these are runtime errors and these would occur when the code is running the problem with these kind of errors is that you can see I have a new sheet I have partial text strings here which means that the code has run till this line but it has not run the, its entire course which means that I'm left with a half executed code and this could be dangerous it could be something that you really don't want so 
this is something that you need to be quite wary about now what I can do is I can correct this and now I can run this code and this entire thing would be completed but it may happen that you have a lot of errors in your code and you may not be able to identify it in that case you would be left with a half run or half executed code so runtime errors are something that you need to keep a check on but again it's something that would tell you that there is an error it would highlight the line and then you can rectify the error so essentially there are two kinds of error in VBA one is the compile error within compile error you could have a syntax error or a normal compile error and then you can have a runtime error in one of the videos later in this course we would learn how to handle these kinds of errors in VBA that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day